All right, morning everyone. Um, with the starter kits going out this week, I just want to do a little video, hopefully get people started, get them off on the right foot. Uh, so a few things. Obviously, you've got your catapult. Most people are going to grab it. And they're going to go, or a lot of people are. And the first thing they do is they go like that and put their thumb there. Don't do that. That is a recipe to hit your thumb. The proper way to hold it, is what, this frame anyway, is what's called a brace grip. So these two little indents here are designed so you can put your finger around one and your thumb on the other. Yeah, so you can see it like that, hopefully. So the slope tips come back towards yourself, finger and thumb in, the, in place of the brace, and your fingers wrapped around the frame. So you've got a nice solid hold. You don't want to hold it like real floppy and weak so it can bend back and flop all around the place when you release. Have a real good solid hold on it. Uh, the other thing. This is designed, obviously, to to shoot with a straight wrist. I don't know if you can see that. So, you know, most people will try and shoot. You can shoot them with your wrist cocked back, like this. Don't know how easy this is for you to see. But I like to shoot them. This is how it's designed to be pushed away from you. Um, pouch release. When you get your, get your ball in your pouch, like so, don't be tempted. I've got the dog tied up to the post here, so he's gonna start whining in a minute. Don't be tempted to hold, hold the pouch in front of the ball. What you must do is hold the ball itself in the pouch. So you can see that. So you wanna be keeping the pouch nice and square. What you don't wanna be doing is pulling it downwards or upwards, because that'll affect the ball trajectory. It'll probably send it into the top fork or the bottom fork. So kind of like um, archery, we're looking for a dead straight line from the fork tips right through to our elbow. I mean, your elbow can be a little bit higher, but straight is fine. So this is how you want to be. Yeah, so I've got my brace grip, my bands are dead level, they're not doing this or this. My fingers and thumb are holding the ball, holding the pouch dead straight, and my elbow is at least straight or slightly higher than everything else. When we release, you don't move your hand from your face, but you leave your hand in the same place, yeah? So you're literally just releasing the pouch. What you don't want to be doing is pulling your hand away from your face, or being out here somewhere, not doing all this. <laughs> it's because of the cap, I have the dogs whining away. So I'll do that one more time. So, hands straight, brace grip, bands are straight, pouch on my face, elbow straight or higher, and then literally just release. That's what you want to do. You don't want to be moving your hand on release. You don't want to be moving this hand on release. Everything needs to be staying rock solid. Solid grip on the frame. Solid point, anchor point in your face. Elbow in a solid position and then literally release. You shouldn't change from that position until after that ball's left that, left that pouch. Um, this is only like a little short, short sort of how-to to hopefully get you started. Obviously, if anyone gets stuck, give us a message. But um, hopefully that's a little bit of an insight into it. Cheers.